This is our ninth year of El Teatro. And you guys started it at West, right? No, we actually started at, at Northridge. 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 Northridge, a long time ago, yeah, when we only had English and Spanish speakers at the time. So you guys have expanded since then. Absolutely. How many students do you have? In this, um, this year we have, including our backstage, 22, which is a little bit smaller than last year, but it's a really, really amazing group. What countries are represented in these kids? Um, we have students from Burma, Thailand, Kenya, Somalia, um, Ethiopia, Eritrea, the United States, Mexico, and Guatemala. The biggest thing they gain is confidence. I mean, certainly they improve their um, public speaking skills. Even they improve their writing just by simply the act of writing. And a lot of our students who are learning English as a new language are improving their English skills. But the thing that I think is best is they gain a sense of confidence and also um, cultural pride. I think. So often in our society, we tell these kids that what's wrong with them is where they came from. What's wrong with them is the language that they spoke first. And I think El Teatro changes that and it tells them that this is what you should be proud of. This is one of the things that's great about you and that makes you special and unique. So I think it helps them a lot to be more proud of who they are. Uh, my name is Katrina Moon. Since I joined El Teatro, it helped me more have more confidence in myself. Like, I can do this and make me more talkative person. Yeah. Um, I get I share my story, um, become more openly and um, not judging other people. And also, I like learn about other cu cultures that I never knew they exist, and I learned more about it. It really helped me see from different perspective. My name is Salam Miskina. Okay, how El Teatro has helped me because it's like you get to see, you get to learn about other students before. So it, it teaches you that to not judge others just because where they're from and teaches you to pay attention to people, listen to people. It does change some people for the, like, for the first time. Some of them, they're just like, wow, that's so cool. And you like, they don't, if they actually listen to the whole show, even for myself, like, since I do the computer thing, I watch the show, I, even if I was outside of it, I would be so su surprised that students could do that and stuff. Because I was, I was given, I watched it like five times yesterday because I was the computer in front of them and I doing the slash thingy. It still gives me goosebumps every time they say their line. So it's like, I feel like if people actually pay attention and listen, it will change and it will teach them something about life and how they could be and especially it will teach them to listen and not just ignore because of something. That's what I think mostly teaches people, to not just judge and ignore people because of there's something wrong with them or because where they're from or because how they are or, or because some, they're different from everyone else or they look different from someone else. I think that's what it's supposed to teach them if they do pay attention. That's what it's supposed to teach it, and it actually does teach that. So.